I have to say, the radio silence right now in Diablo 4 is deafening. And my last couple of videos has been talking about the latest drama in Diablo 4, and that is the so-called release date of the leaderboards that was announced and then quickly de-announced, if that's a word, and retracted from Rod Ferguson, the general manager of Diablo 4. And in those videos, in my prior videos, I highlight this X post by Rob2628, a very popular D4 content creator and streamer, where he voiced what everyone was thinking that this sucked, that being the delay of the gauntlet, the leaderboards. But he also uh, mentions after his original post that Pez Radar reached out to him and that the delay, the announcement for when the leaderboards, the new date, now February 13th, but the new date was imminent and hopefully will be sometime in February, according to Rob. Um, so since this post on February 5th, we are now just shot just over two weeks of the new season, season three being live in Diablo 4. And now since these posts, we are in radio silence. Now I can understand why if you want to take that glasses half full approach. And that is the fact that the new president of Activision Blizzard, Johanna Ferries, is if you go by what we know from her announcement last week and then her letter to her employees at Activision Blizzard Entertainment, she said she would be in Irvine next week, which is this week. So as I'm speaking this week, the new president, Johanna, is in Irvine speaking to all the Activision Blizzard Entertainment teams and staff, and that will include the Diablo 4 dev team. So I can kind of understand why there's radio silence, but while these town halls are going on internally, the radio silence is deafening. And you add on top that you try to understand the current the current status of the game. And again, let me preface this by saying, I know live streaming doesn't always correlate with how popular a game is. But if a game is on the top of the charts when it comes to live streaming services, nine out of 10 times the game is popular in, it, in itself. Um, so I went, I went on to Twitch is probably the most popular live service streaming service. Sorry. And, you know, you would think again, take this with a grain of salt. This doesn't tell the whole story, but it does paint and correlate with the current environment in Diablo four. And that is that it's bleeding big time right now, unfortunately, um, but you go into Twitch, and I have it sorted by high to low, right? And this is all the this is the game category, and as you can see, I'm trying to find where Diablo Four is, and of course, always the big hitters, just chatting, Dota, okay, Grand Theft Auto Five, League of Legends is always up there, Valorant is always up there. We got Call of Duty Warzone up there. Of course, Fortnite's up there and on and on and on. But you would think with a new season only two weeks old, a new season in Diablo 4, you would think it would be up here with the big boys. You know, even Minecraft, PoE, Lost Ark. But you have, of course, Pal World, which is taking the gaming world by a storm of course it's up there um but you keep scrolling down and now you got games that have been you know in existence for a very long time like rust albion and uh unless i miss oh here we go so it's all the way down here currently there's three point three thousand people watching uh diablo 4 gameplay and then you go to steam db and again Take this with a grain of salt. Um, you know, the game was 
not originally launched on Steam. So not a lot of people would have converted going over to Steam um, that were playing on PC. Uh, however, it still is a little bit of an indication. And, and you can see here, I have it on a three month timeline and this is the um, player count active players playing the game like that are on right now as you can see the all-time high in the last three months was twenty-eight thousand, and currently it's just over nine thousand. so a third of the player base are playing right now according to steam db and again that's one picture of many pictures that will illustrate how well diablo 4 is going so you take it with a grain of salt but my point of the illustration is Every indicator that you look at shows you the state of this game, that it's floundering and it, it, it's crazy. And it, the reason why I wanted to bring this up today was, you know, I've been thinking a lot about Diablo 4 lately. Well, to be honest with you, I've been always been thinking about Diablo 4 since the game launched, but... And, and there's a lot of reasons and fumbles and mistakes that have made that have been made along the way. And I got to think about like, what were these mistakes? So the game launches probably in a state that it shouldn't have been launched. That's a mistake. They finally do launch the game and they have big fanfare, unbelievable sales, amazing numbers amount of players playing the game they're about to launch their first season and they nerfed the hell out of all the classes mistake number two so they released a game that wasn't polished and finished they nerfed the classes and the builds prior to their first ever season then we get into season two and we have our first, or you can say your second W, I guess the first W was the launch of the game that got so much success. And season two, for the most part, was very enjoyable and a lot of players liked it. And to this day, that's kind of the bar that players will compare it to when they're thinking or comparing the current status of the game they'll say, why can't it be like season two? So that's so far as the benchmark within this game. Forget about all the other games in the industry. Um, so season two was a W. And then we have the lead up to season three. And you would think, wow, there's a little bit of momentum here. They have season three coming up and they launched the crap. I mean, they talked about season three. It was a big focal point in BlizzCon 2023, which basically when it came to the, when it came to BlizzCon and the Diablo 4 discussions, basically what the two main takeaways from BlizzCon 2023 was season three, leaderboards are coming and expansions coming at the end of 2024, the Vessel of Hatred. To me, that was my two takeaways from BlizzCon 2023. So we have this momentum, this tidal wave going into season three. And then we learn season three is going to launch on January 23rd without the leaderboards on day one. Now, pop goes the enthusiasm and people start talking about why and how that sucks. And, and, and I'm not going to regurgitate everything and all the negativity that was said, but so you launch the season of the leaderboards because that's how it was marketed, communicated to us. You, you launch season three without the leaderboards L number three. Okay. And then not only do you not launch season three without the leaderboards, but then season three happens. Now, even me, someone who said, I'm not getting back into Diablo, I'm not gonna start playing Diablo four again until they fix itemization and the end game variety, more quality, et cetera, et cetera. Even me, 
it got me. I was curious about the companion. So I actually played season three and I lasted to level 25 because the Seneschal was, where is he? And I don't even feel it in the battle zones at all. I don't feel it. I don't feel the presence. I don't like, what's he, what, what, what's it doing? Right. Um, so that happened and backlash about the Seneschal, not same complaints that I had and stopped me from playing. Like I said, I lasted till level 25 in season three and I stopped. Um, so fourth L was the Seneschal was non-existent. And then they put the patch out and now the Seneschal can friggin' kill bosses, right? So four L's in a span since the, the life of this game, okay? So four L's. There's more L's, but I, I'm keeping it to a small amount here. Four L's. And it got me thinking, how did we get here? What causes specifically these four L's? And, you know, I look at them and I think, how, how, what happened? What, what are the causes? Because I always, if you've been watching all my content, I, I try to go underneath the surface and try to understand the thinking, the thought process of the people that are responsible for the game, developing the game, changing the game, upgrading the game, advancing the game. I always try to think of it from that angle, right? And when I look at this, when I look at all the players involved, we know all the names, we've seen all the live streams, we've seen all the campfire chat chats, uh, campfire streams, sorry. Um, We've seen all the posts on X. So you get a you get a sense of style and flavor for each individual that is involved in the Diablo 4 dev team. But when I go back and I look at the root problems with these four L's since day one, what is astonishing to me is the fact these are all self-inflicted L's. Self-inflicted all preventable, all could have not, all could have been eliminated, all didn't have to happen. Well, Sammy, you know, people make mistakes. Nobody's perfect. You're not perfect. Damn straight, I'm not perfect. I make mistakes all the time. And I'm damn proud of making mistakes because, and here comes the cliche, um, when you make mistakes, that's when you learn the most. That's if you're listening. See, people that continue to make mistakes and don't listen to that mistake, if that makes any sense, those are the idiots. Excuse my language. Those are the people that don't deserve to be in a, in a position to make mistakes because they're not listening. They're ignorant to what the world is trying to tell it right? Because when you make a mistake, there's a lesson in there. So yes, I don't have problem with people making mistakes. What I have a problem with is people that make mistakes and don't listen and learn from that mistake. And we have four mistakes here, one after the other, all made because this mistake didn't listen to the lessons from that mistake. This mistake could have been prevented if they would have taken a lesson and learned from this mistake. You get where I'm going here? If you don't listen to what the mistake is telling you, then you don't deserve to be in that position to fix it or screw up again. And this is my problem with the current state of Diablo 4 right now. It seems like we are in this vicious circle of people being in positions and making mistakes. Not a problem. Everyone makes mistakes, but you're not learning from it. Well, how could they have learned from it, Sammy? Some might say to me, right? Okay, so they launched. Let's go back to the four mistakes, okay? And these are my four mistakes I highlight. You may have others. Mistake number one, they launched the game that wasn't ready, beta version, 
Some people refer to it as half-baked, yada, yada, yada. Prior to this launch date, the dev team, Activision Blizzard King, invited a selected few players, content creators, people that are part of their program. They let them play the game before the launch, and they actually got feedback. Now, I wonder what kind of feedback they got. I would bet a dollar that the feedback was not good. <laughs> it was not good, probably. That would be my guesstimate. And so if they would have listened to the feedback, they would have, should have addressed that feedback. But even listening to some of those people that have were, were pro, part of that selected few group to test the game prior to launch. I've heard since then that feedback was given and it, even them who was part of the process, I've heard say, I don't think it was, they took the information. So they were presented a solution or solutions and chose to ignore. Mistake number one. They launched a game, success, and then it goes nerf to season one with the nerfs, right? And then they popped the bubble on season one. They burst the enthusiasm. Again, not listening to the past feedback. And I can go on and on and on, but the bottom line is the, the development team Although they say one thing or doing another. Yes, we're listening to you. We've taken all the player feedback. They're not using this. And this is what's disturbing to me. Now, you may argue with me, what are you talking about, Sammy? They have listened to every gripe the player base has had. You just raised an example, a perfect example of the Seneschal. They launched it. It wasn't Players weren't happy about it. They screamed, kicked and screamed about it, and they buffed it. What do you mean they're not listening? See, there's listening, and then there's doing something to save your life. Okay? They're two different things. Listening is not reactionary. It shouldn't have to get to the point where the player base has to kick and scream in order to get what makes the game good, if that makes any sense. See, the development team should be creating a game and evolving the game. And it seems like to me that the current dev team is just trying to get stuff in the game that just gets the game to go by, get along. Just, it's not... There's no evolution. And what really is disturbing is the fact that there, this game really hasn't advanced. And I've said this in my prior videos. This game has really not advanced. Quite the opposite, actually. The game is continuing to spiral out of control to the point where you have these numbers that I show you. And, you know, you can see them behind me. Again, this is just the Steam number, so take it with a grain of salt. That's not the full picture, obviously. Um, but it, it does, where there's smoke, there's fire. And everywhere I look, I'm surrounded by smoke when I investigate what's going on in this game. There is no clear skies anywhere that I look. None. None when it comes to Diablo 4. And that's worrisome to me. Very, I'm very worried about that. And again, I want to state it for the record. I say this in all my videos because I get a lot of comments uh, in my D4 content about why are you being so negative. The alternative is for me to keep this shut and continue to toe the line and say everything is good. Wow, what a game. I love this game. BS. Sorry, I'm not going to toe or march to their orders? No. I'll happily promote this game when the game deserves to be promoted. But I'm not going to sit idle and allow, enable, 
I'm not going to enable this behavior, okay? Because the player base deserves better. I want better. I want to get back to playing Diablo 4. I want to want to play it, if you know what I mean. So I will continue to speak the truth from my perspective. Does it mean it's a fact? I'm not stating it's a fact. It's my opinion for what it's worth. I don't think this game is going anywhere right now. And it really, like the light bulb, and I've had a lot of light bulb moments while analyzing this game. Another light bulb went out. All these catastrophes are all self-inflicted. And the finger points always to the leadership of this development team. And I'm going to be very interested to see all these town halls and these meetings that the president is having this week, I'm very interested to see what happens next week if something quick happens and if there's going to be any shakeups. Now, I've already said in my prior video, I do. if I was her, I know what I would be doing. And I will be doing a video on that at a later date after it happens because I don't want to call anybody out. But I know I would be making changes, and I think this game deserves that changes be made. Because this team, if you, if I could do a sports analogy, this team is on a major losing streak. A major losing streak. They've had one win in the last five months. That's pathetic. So you can't continue to do the same thing over and over and over expect different results that's the definition of insanity and this game deserves better and it can be a good game but it needs to be put in a different direction so it's going to be very interesting to see i wanted to share my thoughts with you as i was thinking about this the other day that these are all self-inflicted. So if they're self-inflicted, then sorry, the people that are continue to make the people that are continuing to make these self-inflicted wounds, they need to have a reality check and someone needs to talk to them. My hope is this new president is doing it as we speak. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Let me know your comments. We still do not have a date for the leaderboards. Is it gonna be sometime in February? Is it gonna be March? My past, my previous video talked about, you know, some people are talking about that they should postpone it till season four. Personally, I don't think that's a good move. They should not do that. They need to bite the bullet. Season three is a dud. You're not gonna change that. So put your best foot forward with the leaderboards, get it over with and concentrate on the big win items and that's itemization and fixing and adding to the end game but that's my opinion we'll talk more about it anyway if you can like comment and subscribe this way when i cover all the d4 content and all the relevant news in diablo 4 hit the bell so you can get notified when i do drop a video or go live because i'm going to keep you up to date on d4 anyway thanks for watching everybody and as always i hope to see you next time Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.